All right, hey, what's up, everybody? Mike Lindsley back with you. Nine minutes with me. It is Facebook, it is YouTube, and it is IGTV. I am here on a Friday. It is Rosie's Corner. And, of course, they have the fish Friday. That's right. Put it with the mac and cheese or the coleslaw and the french fries. This place is amazing. Theme food during the week. Why not? Meatloaf Monday, chicken and biscuits Wednesday. Get your turkey slop on Tuesdays. And, again, as mentioned, fish Friday. The place is delicious. Pizza, pasta, hot and cold subs, wings, you name it, they've got it. And all the potato and mac salad that you want in the cooler with the salads, tossed or grilled chicken salads. This place is amazing. And make sure you get the cookies and the brownies to go. The bakery here is phenomenal as well. Rosie's Corner, like them on Facebook, follow them on Instagram. And of course, a proud sponsor of the ML Sports Platter, also on Grubhub. So make sure you get that delivery right from the Grubhub app as well. Bills. Hey, they're at uh, they're at uh, Pittsburgh uh, this weekend, and if this game is boy. When I go back in the in the years of Bills football, I think this is the biggest game for the Bills in maybe seven, eight, nine, ten seasons. I may even say that it's the biggest game for the Bills since the game that happened in Nashville against the Tennessee Titans with the Music City Miracle. I, I really believe that it very well could be that big of a game because if they win, they're in the playoffs. Think about the layers of this thing. If they win, they're in. They're playing a good team in the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's already in the hunt at 8-5, and five, a team that's really come on in the last few weeks with Mike Tomlin and company. I'll get to him in just a minute. This is an enormous game. The Bills could make the playoffs. The Bills, the fan base would go bananas. It's also the biggest game of Josh Allen's career. And when you think about Josh Allen so far as a quarterback, again, we're going to have some time uh, next year where he's actually going to finally play two full seasons because of injuries. This is a big game for Josh Allen because against defenses that are uber talented and pressure the quarterback like crazy with layers of blitzing, Josh Allen's looked like shit. He looked awful against New England. He looked horrendous against Philadelphia, and he looked awful last week against Baltimore. I realized they had the comeback going. I realized that he was getting the ball out quick late in the game, but it was too little too late. They had fourth down uh, in the red zone, and he missed John Brown, of course. It was a heck of a play by the Baltimore secondary but this is a huge game for Josh Allen, and I need to see it to believe it with Josh Allen in this football game. When you have a look at this defense and the Pittsburgh Steelers, I'm telling you right now, between Minka Fitzpatrick, you look at Cam Hayward, you look at Devin Bush, the superstar rookie out of Michigan, who was going to be blitzing from every possible angle. This Steelers defense is actually a Super Bowl caliber defense. If you don't think so, watch them more. I've seen a ton of the Pittsburgh Steelers this year, and I've been blown away with this defense. It's unbelievable. I know the Bills defense is very, very good, too. But the Steelers' defense, if I had to rank everybody in the NFL, I'm going to have to go New England, <clears throat> still number one, San Fran number two. And then from there, it's pretty much a toss-up between Steelers, Bills, Ravens, etc. But the two teams that are ahead of the Bills in terms of blitz packages are the Steelers and the Ravens. They just get after it a ton, and that's where it's up to the quarterback to adjust. It's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right plays to get the ball out quickly to the Cole Beasleys, to the John Browns, etc., to the McKenzies, screen plays to Devin Singletary in the tight end. you got to use Dawson Knox assuming, uh, Knox, assuming he can catch the goddamn ball. Da da Dawson Knox can make a gymnastic play, but he can't catch a simple football that you and I could catch in our backyard when we're 14 years old. So the reality is the Bills have got to recognize that pressure, and that's where I think the game is going to be won and lost. I think Josh Allen's play against a blitzing Steelers defense has got to be where this game is really won for the Bills. I think this game is going to be extremely, extremely close. You're going to have sloppiness. You're going to have defensive plays across the board. There's going to be a lot of special teams that are going to be important. Uh, and Mike Tomlin of the Pittsburgh Steelers, by the way, how in God's name is this team even here? Eight and five, one of the great stories of the NFL this year. How can you possibly be eight and five when you've lost Ben Roethlisberger, a Hall of Fame quarterback, you had your second string guy, Mason Rudolph, lost him, and now you're going with Duck Devlin Hodges. You lost Antonio Brown, and you lost Le'Veon Bell. Now, I realize that those were divas, and those guys were going out anyways, and that's fine, but you still have to look at the stats, don't you? That's 2,000 to 2,500 combined yards of offensive production and a potpourri of touchdowns. Oh, by the way, Juju Smith-Schuster, who took over as the number one spot wide receiver, He's been out for a ton of games this year, and he's out this Sunday night against the Bills on NBC. And then James Conner, the starting running back, who I love going back to his Pittsburgh days, fought the adversity with the cancer and all the rest. 
He's also been injured. How in God's name are the Pittsburgh Steelers even in the playoff window? How is this team even 500 or better? This team is 8-5, and five, and they have a legit chance to go to the playoffs. I'm telling you right now, it should not be close. And I think Sean McDermott's done a really good job. I've heard a lot of noise about Pete Carroll in Seattle for Kyle Shanahan in San Francisco, John Harbaugh because of obvious reasons with the Ravens in Baltimore. I've heard different things with Mike Vrabel and the Tennessee Titans. No, no, no. Time out. 20 seconds to tell you this. Mike Tomlin is a coach of the year in the NFL, and it should not even be close. It should be a unanimous vote for coach of the year, Mike Tomlin. The job that he has done is incredible. Their offensive line is very good, by the way. A lot of good athletes, Pouncey and company. That's going to be a challenge for the Bills' defense. I think this game really does come down to the road warrior mentality of Buffalo stopping the Steelers and having that mojo and control of the game, being road warriors. Remember, the Bills have won every single game on the road, but one, that game was at Cleveland. They've beaten the Jets, they've beaten the Giants, they've beaten everybody else, they've beaten uh, 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 at Tennessee, which looks like a much better win at this current time. They won at Dallas on Thanksgiving Day. The Bills are a really good road team. The road game should not distract them at all, except that the Bills are not accustomed to playing on Sunday night football and the national stage of the Sunday night thing. But by the same token, I cancel that out because the Bills took care of national business uh, on Thanksgiving Day in the highest rated game in years and years and years against the Dallas Cowboys when they took care of Dallas on Thanksgiving. The entire nation was watching. That was as big a game as you can get. Late day, CBS, Nance and Romo, Thanksgiving, national audience, huge ratings. And really, the Bills took care of business. And so the national stage shouldn't phase them. But the Sunday night thing, who knows if that's going to be a little bit of a different element. The Pittsburgh Steelers are also really, really good on Sunday night football historically. I think the keys to the game are very, very simple. I think it's number, and this is a, from a Bills perspective, number one, it's going to be Josh Allen. He's the most important guy in this game. Josh Allen handling a ferocious Pittsburgh Steeler defense with the blitzes, the packages, and the schemes. If he can limit turnovers, hell, please don't turn it over at all. But if he can limit the turnovers and play smart and protect the ball and lead them on a few scoring drives, the Bills are going to win this football game. The next key, of course, is going to be that road warrior mentality I talked about uh, with the Buffalo Bills. And I think the third key for the Buffalo Bills, when you really look at it, is actually going to be some special team play, including Steven Hauschka. Remember, he looked like garbage a few weeks ago. Uh, in fact, a couple year, weeks in a row and for the majority of the year has been kind of shaky. You can't really trust this guy. And then last week, he got his shit together. And he was great. Not good. He was great against the Baltimore Ravens. Hauschka could be playing a huge factor here in terms of this game. I think the Bills have the edge in terms of the quarterback play. But again, the Steeler defense coming at Allen, how does he react there? Uh, and then as far as everything else is concerned, you know, the Steelers have the edge in terms of the head coach. The Steelers maybe have a little bit of an edge uh, on the total defensive package. The offensive line, probably the Steelers' edge as well. Playmakers, I would lean towards the Bills, obviously, because the Steelers are missing a bunch of guys. I think this game is going to be absolutely positively close nail biting and i think the bills win 17 to 16 on a hauschka field goal late in the game and the bills defense comes up with the final stop of the game josh allen doesn't look amazing but he does enough to win it i think this is the ultimate coin flip game of the week it's also the biggest bills game in 20 years in franchise history my opinion thanks for watching nine minutes with me mike lindsley igtv facebook youtube Go ahead and share it. Hit me on Twitter, at Mike L Sports. i got a special feature for you coming on Sunday. I'm just going to tease it like that and not tell you anything else. Thanks so much to Rosie's Corner for having me out. Pizza, pasta, hot and cold subs, unbelievable wings. Try the gold fever. Try the garlic parm. And, of course, get on down here for Fish Friday. Pair it with the mac and cheese or your coleslaw and french fries. This place is amazing. A proud sponsor of the ML Sports Platter. And be sure to get them on Grubhub. Like them on Facebook. Follow them on Instagram. And don't forget, gift cards come in handy if you're in and around Central New York for family and friends for the holidays, get a gift card at Rosie's Corner. As I always tell you, enjoy the games.